I don't know if babe talked to you earlier or not, I don't know, but I'm talking to you now, and we are back from the gym. I edited uh, a video, and now we are getting ready to go outside and clean off our back patio. You guys, I was picking at my face. How horrible is that? Um, no, I don't have a nervous condition, but it's just, <laughs> I don't know, it's a bad habit. So now I gotta lighten up those spots. But anyway, we're getting ready to go out on our back patio. As a matter of fact, we're out here now. And Babe is going to blow it off and clean and clean it off and then I am going to go ahead and clean up the gazebo now a couple of months back almost what, what was this October ish maybe October um, we bought this gazebo and I did a video on putting it together it was kind of like a vlog so it really wasn't like um, uh, watch me build it but it was kind of a step-by-step -step thing so I'll put the link up here somewhere for you guys so now we're out here getting ready to clean it up because you know we had a series of storms the leaves and pine needles are starting to fall it's just a mess out here so we're gonna clean it up the inside doesn't look so bad in there but I'm gonna uh you know vacuum the cushions and stuff and you know just spruce it up in there and get it ready for the fall weather we haven't been able to be out here that much because even though this provides some protection from the sun which is the reason why we got it it was still hot as bejesus out here so we wasn't out here so let me show you guys what it looks like okay all right so if you're looking on the patio you see all the pine needles um there's a big spot right here that's about five foot four inches tall um where right here i'm gonna probably blow that off myself um but yeah you got all these uh you know all this stuff around the patio now you guys before you start passing ooh, i'm trying to fit through that little hole um <laughs> i got through though though didn't i y'all i got through that little 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 space right there I, sh I sure did get through that little space so before y'all start you know talking like why would you put a gazebo on your back porch well let me tell you why one i wasn't gonna put it on the grass because our grass back there it really is virtually none we just haven't you know we have so many tree roots and stuff growing in the back but they, we can't grow grass and then on top of that the bugs would be coming up from the bottom so i was like i don't want to put it on the grass and then two i wanted to enjoy time on our back deck not in the grass and it was just way too hot so no umbrella was going to um, work and so i got this idea from a neighbor around the corner i was like oh they have a gazebo on theirs mm -hmm. so i got a gazebo too and i tried to trick it out and so here let me take you, you let job, me bro. let me take you i did a good job babe yeah. yeah i know i was out here slaving away trying to put this gazebo together me and my mom put this gazebo together it took us almost all day to do it because the instructions are not um they're not hard to do but they're hard to do if it's just two of you so babe was out of town so she couldn't help us so it was just a struggle but let me um i'm gonna give you all a tour of my little house hold on one second so let's start with this beautiful light right here so this light um babe she actually got it out of the trash at a store she was helping our friend in he's not our friend anymore but um he threw it out and we were gonna put it inside the house but then I'm like we really don't need a light in the house because we replaced everything so all I did if you guys can see is I hung it from the middle up here and then I just put some you know nice little flowers in where the light bulbs would normally go and that's what I did there and then here is our pit set that we bought from Home Depot last year that um it wasn't the gazebo wasn't big enough to put all the seating in, so we moved some of the seating out and then just put it on the outside. But we keep the cushions inside the gazebo because it rains too much, and so this kind of keeps the uh, pillows from being all damaged and stuff. And so, yeah, so this is what it's looking like right now. It's not really fixed up because, uh, you know, we were just throwing stuff in here. And our little frog, Stefan, he melted. I don't understand this whole thing about things being for outdoors. And as soon as the sun hits them, they start falling apart. So 
that's that and then we have curtains i put these up and weatherproofed them myself these did not come with it and all i essentially did was i used shower curtains and regular curtains that i scotch guarded and put them up here and that's gonna be that's additional stuff to keep the light out and so it stays cool in here and it keeps the rain out so basically this is like a really really great place to sit when it is raining outside there is a few drizzles that get in if you see like these little holes up here you know the vents um and up there at the very top a few drizzles come in but really not that many so you can sit out here and have like a really nice enjoyable time in um the fall and in the early summer but in the dog days of summer like right now no 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 you can't do it so i'm i'm hoping i can be out here by mid-september uh late september and just really be editing and all that kind of stuff and just enjoying it enjoying the weather out here so yeah so let me go ahead and find the blower and get all the stuff that we need so that we can clean up out here and then i'll take y'all along with this so hang tight okay okay guys so i am standing here what you see i am doing is just taking these white pillows and putting them into our closed in patio which is what i call the boom boom room and i'm putting those in there because those kind of got a little mold on them so i'm going to clean them up and wash them today and so babe she's already started up the blower i've taken our inside auric vacuum cleaner and i'm starting to clean off the cushions now you know you guys I am new to this whole down south type of weather and keeping our furniture clean I really had no idea that outside furniture really could not uh, um, sustain the outdoors I really didn't know that so I had a really expensive set when we moved down here and we left it outside in the rain and in the sun and we found out that it ended up getting really faded um, and the cushions got molded and I'm like well, why do they call it outdoor furniture if you can't leave it outside I know call me dumb call me stupid I should know these things but I really didn't know it and so with this set it cost three times uh, the amount of money that we spent on our first set when we moved down here so I'm making sure that this time around I'm taking a little bit more care of the cushions and making sure that they don't get wet, they don't stay dirty very long, that I vacuum them, and all of that great stuff because I really would hate for $5,000 to just go down the drain um, because I was too lazy to take care of everything. So that's what you see me doing here is just making sure that I'm getting all the dust and maybe any bugs that might have crawled in and died on them, getting them off of the cushions so that we don't have to do it again. Babe, she noticed the spider web up there so she's trying to... Put the blower into the light up there and get that out and all that stuff so yeah you guys that's one of the good things about this gazebo too uh, when i put it up not only does it keep us a little bit cooler it also it also helps me keep the cushions dry and I don't have to keep running them inside the house every time it decides to rain down here in Georgia. And the gazebo is really good for keeping the pollen that uh, falls in the springtime off of the cushions. And you know that, if you guys experience that, that will destroy everything that's outside. So um, I'm, I'm really glad that we decided to put the gazebo up. Right here, you guys, I'm just going ahead and taking the vacuum cleaner and getting those spider webs out that Babe couldn't get with the blower. And, you know, we're just continuing to, you know, clean the back deck, Babe. She's taking a rag here we're not doing like a major window cleaning she's just getting some dust off the windows just you know things that are left behind when storms hit and you know just sprucing it up a little bit nothing too major but you know making sure that it's nice and pretty out here and then you guys uh, there's um, the coffee table out here I'm using my favorite sprayway glass cleaner on it and I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up you wouldn't think that the table ended up getting as dirty as it did but you guys when I show you this paper towel I am very surprised that it was this dirty I didn't expect for it to be that nasty um, considering it was under the gazebo so it is a good thing that we're out here cleaning and getting the dust and all that up because there's probably a lot of things that we cannot see with our naked eye and since there was so much stuff on the table I went ahead and grabbed the spray away again and I'm just gonna go ahead and spray it on a paper towel and go ahead and get the rest of the items that were on the table if you guys see we have a glass with a tulip in it just one tulip I couldn't find another tulip that day but tulips for tulips freedom get it tulips and uh, just giving everything a good wipe down um, getting all the dust off of it getting things that again I didn't realize were um, on these things because you can't really see them that well because of the 
shade from the gazebo and I don't know dust just seems like you can't really see it so good outside it's not like you can see it the way that it is on the inside so babe she's done uh, blowing and she's taking the vacuum cleaner and the blower and putting those back up so I'm thankful to her for that and then I'm just out here finishing up doing what I do now you guys this isn't um, you know like this big reveal or this big decorating project all I'm doing is really just straightening everything up outside on the patio just to make it more decent looking um, it's not like my fabulous reveal or anything but you know what honestly I'll tell you the truth I don't know too many people that have patios even as good as this one decorated my brother came out he asked us to pick up our niece from cheerleading practice and we're like okay sure no problem and uh, yeah so now that's all you see us doing right here is just finishing cleaning up and straightening up the pillows and I'm probably fussing at babe about something I don't know what but we stay fussing at each other and um, yeah I don't really have too much else to say just watch you guys so babe has already sprayed the back patio just to prevent bugs if you live down south you know bugs are a problem down here no matter how clean you are those suckers will come and they will find you babe's tired she is taking a rest but she's gonna have to move around real quick because I'm about to give you guys a quick tour of our gazebo and back deck so here you guys here you have it it is right here it is nice and clean and refreshed we have the candles burning the pillow set on the porch everything you know you guys I don't know if I want to call this a deck a patio a porch it's some of everything with me but it's nice and clean and you can come out here and relax and really enjoy the weather and again nothing super fancy but definitely comfortable and really nice in my opinion so you guys this is the end of our clean with me our back patio deck gazebo whatever you want to call it thank you so much for watching our videos if you are not subscribed definitely go ahead and take the opportunity to do that now give us a thumbs up and leave us some comments below let us know how you like this video let us know what you'd like to see from us in the future and uh, make sure you're sharing this with your friends because they might like us as much as you do and as always Again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.